Howdy everybody, we're coming from the 275 mark today of Pete's Mine, uh, named after the rat that uh, inhabits the place. I was going to show you a little something here, um, kind of gives us a direction why we like this mine so much. Well, there's lots of reasons, but let me take a look here, I'll spin you around. Um, give me another light on too so you can, I can point things out, give me a moment. All right, it's going to kind of wash things out. Right in here, though, see that from down there in that bottom corner? Right up, eh. I don't turn my light off, I see my finger in the, the lens. Okay, here we go. From right about there, this is one vein that comes up. Now, you can tell we've got some mighty fine limonite. For those who don't know what limonite is, it's uh, what hematite decomposes into, and hematite is an iron mineral and gold rides an iron horse come up around in here get a little bug and a bug's just a natural occurring hole in the rock turn it back around okay so we got this one vein right here we've also got these my shadows this vein in this roof right here let me get out of the way it's gonna blow it out anyway all right let's go to the right side you got a vein here on the right side that buries itself inside the rock. Inside the, this is the, uh, this is the hanging wall. Um, north side of the vein, uh, north side of the mine. I can tell you, actually northeast. But that vein kind of buries itself underneath the hanging wall. You might come out right about there again. But anyway, get up close, come across. We've got limonite. It comes all the way around. Another. Pretty good size bug up there. It goes back about three feet, which is again separate from this vein. There's a broken rock in here that's not that vein. Then this vein kind of goes back through there the whole way. Turn back around now. So we got this cutting vein, drops into the foot wall here. We got this one main vein here on top of us that's about a foot thick, give or take. We know we've got mineralization inside this, <laughs> we thought it was this country rock, but we're actually finding pyrites inside of it. Um, and this is that second vein. Now, if you're coming back this direction, let me kind of tough to see, let me come back a couple feet. And then I'm at, this where I got the 265. All right, another cross-cutting vein coming up right through here, right in through there, into the ceiling. Here, in the camera, we got one, two, three veins meeting right at this little juncture. I took a sample there just to see what we got. Let's get some up close pictures. Focus. So you can kind of see what the mineralization looks like through here. It looks better without the light on my head on it. That's kind of a, an idea of what we're looking at. And here's the other. Focus. Focus. Bad dog. Good dog. So it comes through here. We get this vein running through the ceiling. And then focus. We've got. You can see that, that slick side right there. Um, there's another vein that buries itself back in there. This is the only part of the mine really here, about what, 250 ish, that has any really ugly spots in it. So we've got a lot of side calving of the rock. We've got good rhyolite in here. That still shows mineralization. And we've got a vein up there in the ceiling that runs through. All right, we're at the 250 right here. Right behind this wall, we got. More bugs. Need a little bit of light in there. More bugs. More mineralization. Up in here. Got some good chocolate limonite. I'm kind of blowing it out with my head lamp, but a little bit of copper in there. A little limonite. Got this bad boy. Oh, it's smooth. That's a 255 marker. This is really smooth right here. It's like sidewalk smooth. Right in there. I can't tell you which direction it went because it's 
slicked off. Then you can kind of see there's a crack down there where these two walls meet. This is the fault line, one of the fault lines at least. And that fault line runs through here, old nail. You see there's mineralization right up between there, so there was an enrichment zone right in there. And there's a little blue line of rock here. Anyway, a lot of crazy stuff going on in here today. Um, I'm going to have an update on what I think is happening here underground. Um, cause I thought before that the vein might drop off. Oh, I thought they lost the vein about 225. Now I think they lost it about 150. Um, there's two different shears back there, and one of them cuts back and follows the surface vein more. And then this shaft where I'm in right now, well, this part of the shaft rather, it kind of does an S curve. And that's kind of where I'm at. I'm on the very, very top of the S. Um, bottom being back towards the, the portal. So we got some multiple, I think we got multiple fault lines. They just started cutting and went and followed one vein, lost it, and picked up another one, and kept going. And they just did that all the way to their face. Because um, there's some really, really interesting stuff going on here. So expect a second video later on tonight, today. And I'll get that one up showing the, the shear. I'm going to try to get the compass in here as well. to do a little bit better survey on that portion of it. And it's right behind the wind, so it's like at one... 135, 150 range, somewhere in that range, or in that spot. Anyway, we'll be coming back soon. Bye.